Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be a review of the Extrafy M4 Wireless. I like to think that I review almost every mouse that comes out, but the M4 shape is just one that I had never tried until this point. And I'm not going to say it's like a huge regret. I'm going to look a bit back on in my deathbed. But for an ergo mouse, this is an interesting one. Definitely took me some time to adjust to. Um, that's why like this mouse has been on my desk for weeks, but I'm only reviewing it now. So I'm going to get right into the review. First thing I'm going to talk about is build quality. Because with extra fine mice, I generally have issues with them just being creaky, especially the MZ1. More on that later. But on the M4 wireless, I'm happy to note that there is no problems with the shelf flexing or creaking there is a bit of rattling um, but that doesn't happen when I actually swipe the mouse around on my desk and I think it's due to their adjustable weight tuning system which is honestly hilarious basically they give you a screwdriver and you can screw these screws at the bottom of the mouse which in turn adjusts the weight balancing i'm not gonna lie though regardless of how you have it configured i cannot personally feel the difference and the weight balancing on this mouse is solid it's 70 71 grams so it's not the lightest mouse on the market um, but it definitely feels solid and well balanced in hand like i said no issues with creaking or flexing the only build quality issue that i have is a ton of pre-travel on these main clicks you can see towards the top of the click there's just a lot of pre-travel it makes the clicks feel lighter um for kill 8.0s this actually is a pretty light implementation and they feel fine for spamming um, but definitely a low quality feeling, especially if you are someone who clicks at the top of the clicks. Um, so that's really the only issue I have. There's also some pre-travel on the side button, but most side buttons wind up having some pre-travel. These are located in a very high place. You can see where I rest my thumb naturally with this mouse and then how high I have to move it up. To hit the side buttons which is annoying for something like fortnite and i do have to adjust my grip but if you don't find yourself using these side buttons often or only use mouse 5 i think you'll be fine um, but yeah this mouse 4 is in an odd place you can see it compared to all of these other mice that the m4 wireless has just bizarrely tall and slanted side buttons they're huge as well and they feel all right, but I would say the positioning is kind of a flaw. Moving past the side button design, I'm going to get into the shape and feel, which is what really makes the M4 wireless unique compared to any other ergo I can think of. You can see the top profile um, where the clicks are is very flat, and it's almost like a design of an ambi mouse. It looks much closer to the super light than something like the X light wireless or the Model D wireless, and I like the even height on the front of an Ergo mouse. It's something I never really thought of before, um, but it fits very well, but this mouse gets very wide towards the bottom. You can see that it flares out a lot. The way I see it is you get the sides of an Ergo mouse and the top of an Ambi mouse. This actually allowed me to get a more consistent grip style, I realized, over time, and I just prefer having the lower button height in general. Um, so that was a really good aspect of the M4 that, I've, once again, I just never tried before. I don't really know why. For my hand size of 20 by 11 centimeters, this mouse felt good for relaxed claw grip. It felt nice for aggressive claw, and I could use it in something like Kovacs, um, but it was impossible for me to hit the side buttons while aggressively clawing it, which is worth mentioning. And I am not somebody who even likes palm grip, but this mouse did, once again, feel surprisingly natural and comfortable for palm grip definitely made for larger hands though if you're if you have small hands i see how this shape could get ridden off as aggressive uh, but i found it very unique compared to a lot of ergos and the general feel was very locked in and stable but that is of course after i took the time to get adjusted to the shape and feeling of this mouse it's not going to be for everybody but if you have large hands and either claw or palm grip, I think this is one of the better ergo options. It's a nice shape, a good feel. The weight does feel good regardless of how you tune the weight balancing. And the sensor implementation does seem to be, I mean, very good as well. It's a 3370. I have no issues with the default LOD. All of the settings are on board. I think the debounce time is 4MS by default. And the clicks felt very responsive and good, just once again pretty low quality with a lot of pre-travel towards the top of the clicks.
And this is ExtraFi's first wireless mouse, so it was nice to see that their wireless performance was really top tier, at least as far as I could tell in every aspect. Uh, definitely holds a candle to like just any other wireless mouse. Another thing to mention on this topic is battery life. This mouse does have RGB, and even with this in around three weeks of testing, um, I only had to charge it twice. Since everything's on board, it will blink red when it's at 25%. It's a convenient, like once again, just a good system. It has USB-C, so a bonus points for that. Now I'm gonna quickly go through some of the other features. The scroll wheel is basically completely silent and it still has very well-defined steps. It's unique and pretty good. No issues with it being too recessed or anything. The mouse skates on um, PTFE, you can see it's an interesting mouse skate design. The edges are rounded. For the most part, they are pretty rough on textured pads, but I had no issues with the glide. You're just going to get a lot of feedback on the mouse skates. It's not going to be like smoothed out and controlled. Um, but all in all, they are passable. If you main it, you might want to switch them out. There is no coating on this mouse. I believe this is just the raw plastic, and it does have a very cheap feeling, and the rest of the mouse just has the holes. So it's really, like, not going to feel premium in hand, like something like the uh, super light. Wow, can I say like anymore, man? And moving on from that, they do include this replacement back shell or back hump that they say is optimized for palm grip. I didn't really give it a fair shot, honestly. I used it for like five minutes and then decided that the original hump was what I preferred, but it's cool that ExtraFi does allow you to customize. I'm sure you could like 3D print your own hump. Ooh, wow, two people are gonna do that. I'm kidding, it's actually a cool feature. Um, but yeah, I think you can also get this mouse with a custom color. Oh my God, like this brown color I got on my M42. <laughs> Tell me that is not the most beautiful mouse you have seen. So you can also do that. Um, which should honestly give the extra every extra five product the seal of approval. But yeah, all jokes aside, um, this mouse won't be getting the seal of approval. I think it's really good for extra five's first wireless mouse, and I think this shape, I kind of just over hated it. Uh, but I don't think that this is a perfect mouse. At $100, it's not an outrageous ask, but there's similar stuff quality-wise um, for like $80 and $75. So I guess you are paying like for the extra fi experience and stuff. I'm not sure. All I am sure about is that we need a fucking MZ1 wireless. Extra fi has shown that they got the performance down, and now they just need to show the great man who is Rocket Jump Ninja some respect by giving him his own mouse. And that's going to be all for the review of the ExtraFi M4 wireless. Definitely one of the more unique ergo shapes on the market. I was definitely late to the party on trying it though, um, but overall my experience with this mouse was good. I do have large hands though, so if you have small hands, I don't know if you will be able to say the same, um, but the flat top on an ergo mouse is definitely something I liked a lot and the performance was sick. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for future mouse reviews and remember one like equals one MZ1 wireless whatever that means hope you learned something peace last mouse review of 2021 wow